Hey, it's Aaron the Ho from Mobile Reviews A.C, and today we are going to do a review of the Pelican Pro Gear Voyager for the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. These are slim, slimmer, tough iPhone cases that come with belt holsters. We're really big fans of how grippy the case is, as it's going to have a hard time sliding off of any flat surface. Pelican's warranty on their case is pretty awesome, and the belt holster has a nice viewing feature to it, but getting to your actual iPhone inside the case is going to be a little tougher, and despite being designed to mill specs, we have no idea how high you can safely drop your iPhone inside of this case. Now, based on our time with the Pro Gear Voyager iPhone case, we gave it a score of 3.4 A's out of 5. We've rated this case as high as an OtterBox Defender, um, but other cases that are higher include the Griffin Survivor All-Terrain as well as the Ballistic Hardcore or the Amzer Crusta. If you'd rather read the rest of this review, check out our written review on our website. If you're torn between which case to get and you need a little bit of help, check out our comparison tool for tough iPhone cases. All the links are in the description section below. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? .ca. Now, Mobile Reviews A.ca, we base our reviews on actual usage. With this Pelican Pro Gear Voyager, one of our viewers complained that their hair got stuck inside the case. Now, I've spent a lot of time trying to get my hair stuck in the case. Like it just, he was saying it just kind of gets caught and then pulls and then it kind of hurts. But my hair, I don't have that much hair, so I, I did my best. I'm sorry. Now, in terms of usage, we see how well the case scratches and holds up over time. We'll drop it to see if the iPhone pops out, and we'll use other screen protectors to see how well this iPhone case plays with other iPhone products. In terms of design, the Voyager, according to Pelican, has a thin design, and we have to agree generally. It is by no means close to your slimmer, tough iPhone cases like the Thule Atmos X3 and the Griffin Survivor Core, but it's definitely not as massive as the Ballistic Tough Jacket and the Griffin Survivor All-Terrain. Now, on the box, Pelican says that there are four layers of protection, but this case, it's only two layers, and if you look at their videos, their four layers is the optional installable screen protector, the rubber bumper on the back, the hard part, and then on the inside of the case, that kind of soft rubbery part. So there's four layers, technically. Installation of the case is pretty simple, but the screen protector needs to be kind of thumbed on, and when I mean thumbed on, you just kind of guess and you just put it on. Taking the case apart is fairly simple, but when we first started using the case, we were worried that it would come apart quite easily when we dropped it, and you can we'll talk about our results in a bit. In terms of build quality, the case holds up quite well, as the rubber portion of the case is usually what makes contact with any sort of surface. The polycarbonate corners do show a bit of scuffing if you purposely drop them on the corners. Their blend of materials is definitely not pretty looking. It's literally two big strips, stripes of uh, rubber pieces, but they really increase the handling of the uh, of your iPhone. Like it, this is a very, very uh, textury uh, case. In terms of drop protection, Pelican makes it sound like it's an incredibly tough iPhone case. And generally their stuff is pretty tough. You know, their packaging has mill, words, mill spec on it, but they don't really tell you how you can drop it. Now, we dropped it from a height of about three feet, and the case does come apart. Now, that is a pretty far cry from what they're leading us to believe, given that they include pictures like, you know, military people and fire people on their packaging. We were a little concerned that we had kind of a faulty iPhone 6 one, so we went and bought an iPhone 6 Plus, and it's kind of the same thing. The iPhone 6 Plus version held up a little better. It didn't come splitting apart, but it did come apart around three and a half feet feet so it's a pretty far cry from what you would expect from these tougher cases there is a bit of damage on the iphone 6 version but well with pelican's warranty i'm gonna go get this case replaced Screen protection is decent as the edges of the Voyager are incredibly high, annoyingly high, we'd have to say. It does come with a plastic screen protector that is scratch resistant and it does hold up against keys fairly well, but again, there's no way to install it straight. You'll also notice that the screen protector doesn't quite fit too well as it's too big for the case, so the case actually lifts the uh, screen protector off the iPhone's touchscreen. In terms of water protection, the case isn't waterproof and there are gaping holes everywhere for water to make contact with your iPhone. In terms of dust and debris, the Voyager does offer better dust protection as the ports are sealed by the plugs at the bottom of the case, but they still allow sound to uh, enter in and out of the case easily. That's one of the very few nice things we have to say about the case as accessing your iPhone inside the case is... Pretty awful, and we'll talk about that next. The buttons on the case are really tough to use, so putting your iPhone to sleep or changing the volume or taking pictures is going to become quite frustrating. The design of the mute button axis is also very awkward since the flap, you kind of move it up and down, whereas an axis in the mute switch is a push-pull motion, so you end up having to move your hands a lot to do something that was incredibly simple. 
There are no issues in terms of getting to the camera if you could push the buttons to take a picture, and the port cutouts are large enough to use slightly larger than average headphone jacks and lightning cables like this awesome cable. The edges of the case, despite providing great clearance for the screen protection, makes the edges a little tougher to get to. This is really noticeable on the iPhone 6 version of the case, and less so on the iPhone 6 Plus version because of the larger screen. In terms of screen viewability, if you're using the included screen protector, you're going to be dealing with the bubbling due to the screen protector being too large. If you do get this case, we'd recommend getting a third-party screen protector because the ones included are just not, they're not, they don't fit. On this iPhone 6, we are currently testing a Tech Armor Ballistic screen protector that just fits this case perfectly. Pelican does include two screen protectors, so if you manage to scratch one of them and you get these bubbling artifacts, you can just easily toss away it without thinking about it much. Now, one of the better parts of this case is actually the belt holster. Now, the actual holster portion is pretty, well, normal, um, but they do include a little kickstand on the back so you can view your iPhone from a, diff from a variety of different positions, well vertically or horizontally, however way you choose. And that just seems silly to me that I just said that the belt holster was one of the best parts of this protective $60 case. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. We produce content two to three times a week based on a bunch of different cases and whatnot. We are going to be trying certain newer things in the near future. Uh, find us on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. If you have questions, comments, leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's Aaron the Hope for Mobile Reviews 8.ca, and today we are going to do the review of the Pelican Pro Gear Vol Vault Voyager. Damn it! All right, take number three, because my batteries died, and I spent an entire minute, actually the rest of the video, after protection. It was pure silence. It was awesome. I totally just missed that appointment.